Alright, Gus. When I say go, be ready to walk forward. Okay. No, you were too late. My camera path didn't capture it. Let's try again. I'll make the camera slower. One, two, three, go. No, now you are out of frame too fast. Damn, it's so difficult to capture perfect camera path with these commands. I have a solution for you. Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and welcome to Aperture Tutorial Series. This is episode number 0, and in this video I'll tell you what Aperture Mod is, and why you should use it. If you don't care about the trivia, just jump to the first episode, otherwise, let's go. Aperture is a camera mod. Camera mods lets you create camera paths which locks your point of view, and smoothly move the camera through a user configured path. The purpose of such mods is to create nice cinematic videos, with help of a screen recording software, like this one. Before we will dive into Aperture, I want to introduce you to alternatives first. At the moment of making this video, there are a couple of other camera mods, most notable are CMD Cam, Bore Cam, and Replay Mod. In comparison to other mods, Aperture is objectively the most powerful and flexible camera mod, however, Previously mentioned mods have their own perks as well. Let's begin with the simplest. Boya Cam is a camera mod by Dapinger, same person who maintains and adds new features to Minima mod. It's the simplest to use camera mod. You just add a couple of points, and start playing by specifying amount of frames you want the camera to travel. This makes this mod very simple to use. You just learn a key bind and a command, and you are ready to record. It also works very nicely with Minima. However, its disadvantage is its advantage. It's too simple to use for complex scenes. It only works nicely for simple pans and aerial shots that don't involve any actors. If you need something a bit more advanced with same capabilities, you should take a look at CMD Cam. CMD Cam is a camera mod by Creative MD, who also made other cool mods such as Little Tiles and Item Physics mods. CMD Cam is more advanced than Bore Cam, and supports more features. However, it uses commands to do the editing of the camera, which might consume a lot of time setting up the camera. It also uses real time for camera animation internally, which means it can't be used effectively with Minima, to record smooth footage, which leads us to Replay Mod. Replay Mod isn't really a camera mod, but rather all-in-one replay recording and playback solution. It allows you to hop on a server, or in a single player world, and record how you played a mini game, or built something on a server. Then, after recording a replay, you can enter into Replay Studio, where you can add a camera path, and render it as a video. It's useful and clearly superior to other mods, when it comes to creating building time lapses and mini game montages. However, it requires you to use Replay Studio, you just can't use its camera component to set up a path anywhere at any time. You have to record a replay, and only then set up the camera. Also, its GUI is very bulky when it comes to camera editing. If you need to make a couple of simple camera paths for a video, or make a building time lapse or a mini game montage, then close this video, and go research the other camera mod that fits your needs. However, if you need camera work for Machinimus, then this is where Aperture Mod comes into the play, as being the best camera mod. There are many features that make Aperture much better than other camera mods, for Machinimus. The primary factor is that all camera editing is done through GUIs, instead of using commands to place points and play back the whole scene. With Aperture, you can place a couple of points, and instantly see the result of the camera path. No need to replay the whole 2 minute camera sequence to check if the path went inside of the terrain. Another great thing is that Aperture uses ticks, instead of real time or frames, for camera animation and durations. What makes ticks great is that they work great with both screen recording software, and Minima mod. Real time's disadvantage is that it doesn't work nicely with Minima mod, because Minima slows down the time, every step in between frames is unknown so it skips a lot of frames. Meanwhile, 
frames disadvantage is that they are frame rate dependent, meaning if you're making a 60 FPS video, you'll need to calculate a different value for, let's say, a 30 FPS video, and the camera animation would end up much longer when your computer is lagging even a bit. Ticks turn both real times and frames disadvantages into an advantage. And final notable advantage of Aperture is how many different camera features it provides, just look at that. Different fixtures, idle, path, keyframe, null, circular, modifiers, shake, look, follow, orbit, angle, drag, and you can even use math. Basically, you got it, there are a lot of camera features. Even if it sounds amazing, Aperture also has its own disadvantages as well, but beside the difficulty to learn, due to lack of tutorials, and being specifically catered for machinimal creation, I can see no other cons. Feel free to share other difficulties in the comments. Beside all these cool stuff, Aperture also works with Blockbuster, and has actor syncing preview, and player recording action editing within camera editor, but that's not a biggie for this series. Anyways, I hope this video was informative and helped you pick your perfect camera mod that you needed. I'm going to say right off the bat that I'm not planning to, or going to, make tutorials about any of the previously mentioned camera mods, as they don't suit my needs. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.